Hi, my name is Mary and I'm with V-Line Industries and today we're going to show you how to install the V-Line Quick Vault in the wall. Okay, the first thing we have to do is find where our studs are. You also want to make sure there's no electrical or plumbing behind your wall. There's two ways to do that. We can use a stud finder, which you can get at any hardware store, and that just lines up and when you have a stud, the lights slide up or if you don't want to buy a stud finder, you don't have one, you just tap on the wall and you can hear the difference between where the stud is and where it isn't. And once you locate your studs, we want to mark them and then that's where we're going to cut our hole. It's in between those two studs. Okay, so we have our drywall knife. You can use other knives, other tools. We chose a drywall knife. So basically you take your knife and just poke your hole in the wall. Once you get through, you're just going to cut your hole out. We just cut a small hole so that we can double check and make sure we don't have any electrical or uh, plumbing back here. We did find one little cable wire, so we took our coat hanger apart and slid that down in here and just double checked. We're lined up with our stud here and with our stud on this side. Our little cable wire is not going to be a big deal, we we'll just push that out of the way. And we are all ready now to make our hole bigger so we can slide our safe in. We have our hole all cut. We're just going to clean up this little edge a little bit here and we're going to be ready to put our safe in the wall. We have our hole all cut. Now we're ready to put our vault in the wall. So we just slide it in our hole. And then open it up. We've got our felt sides off. And we're going to mark our holes so we can do some starter, uh, starter holes in the, in the studs. There's two holes on each side. So and slide it back out again so we can start some starter holes in the wall. We have a good, uh, good little mark there to start drilling. Okay, so we have our holes all started. We're going to put our safe back in the wall. And we've got included uh, fastening lag bolts. We're going to take these guys out. And washers. And we just put those right in those holes we started, right through the safe. And our ratchet. And we're ready to go. What you want to do too is you get all four started in there. You don't want to tighten one down and then go tighten the other one. You get one, get all four of them done, and then we'll go back in and we're just going to finish doing that final tightening on all of them. Just get them snug tight. Don't crank them down too hard. Okay, and we're all secure there. So our next step, we're ready to put our shelf in. Now in the back wall of the safe, we've got these slits in the felt. So we're going to pull the felt apart right here at the slit. And you can see behind the slit here, it's lined with little holes. And that's what our shelf screws into. So you just pick the desired height that you want your shelf. You've got both sides here. So I've separated the felt here, found my two, my two holes. What I'm going to do, set my shelf in place. You do have to angle it up to get it in. And then we're going to line up the hole through the bottom of the shelf. And that goes right into the hole in the back wall. We have our shelf and we're just going to tighten the screws down a little bit more. And check our door. Perfect. So we're all finished now. We've got our vault installed and the shelf is in place, so I'm ready to fill it up now. Um, clean up. It does make a little bit of a mess, ladies, so we got to bring the vacuum in, get up the drywall dust. Um, we had a little fupa here. I was thinking I wanted it higher, but got our closet bracket in the way, so we'll just touch that up with some paint, no big deal. The other drywall cuts are all hidden by our flange here. If you were going to put this in a room, it is flush enough, you can hang a picture over it and completely hide it. Sticks out maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so. Uh, your, your knob sticks out just a touch over the flange and you're all set. Um, really easy to use. 
You just turn your knob, push in the buttons for the code that you set, and we'll go through that in just a minute. And it's so fast and easy to use. And thanks again for watching. This is Mary at Beeline.